Good one, two, few weeks. <laughs> Figured you'd skip town. <laughs> Just trouble. Usual stuff. Iron and lead, then I take it. Sure. Let me see what you got.
not to look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure, but she showed that slyness you get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out lumped with the outcasts easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> Is that all? Really should be going. Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Hey, 
Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Helmet. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No, she saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The woman is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she would not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Thank you.
Thank you. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What'd I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Kako Okada, the lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment to come see me, we must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. What's this? Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that, that chick's what? name? The one with the hair? Misty? Yeah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or hey! maybe ask them both. Haven't I seen you here before? Got a good memory for faces. We're closed right now. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Whoa, whoa. Start again. What is it you want to do? Speak some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know what you said. I don't care. I just want my room. Where are you going? Nothing. 
nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. Stop telling every joy toy you need to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside this world? This is a club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower? <laughs> Luxurious. <laughs>